Good morning everyone. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Jose Javier and I am currently working as early stage researcher in the Tarotics project at Tales Research and Technology, located in Palaiso, in the south of Paris. And we are going to start with this new topic about optoelectronic components. At the beginning point, we are going to start with a brief introduction of optoelectronic waves. One of the physical fields that are part of space is the knowledge like electromagnetic field, which its name indicates is the combination of the electric field radiated by stationary charge and the magnetic field produced by moving electric charge through a current or through a magnetic material. That fields are propagating through space, and when one of these fields are changing with the time in one space region, induce the creation of the other field. This relationship between them is given through Maxwell equations, as we'll see now. We will start with Gauss law, which tell us that when electric charges are positive, the electric field tends to flow out of the charge, but when negative charge is present, the field tends to flow toward the charge. However, Gauss law for magnetics says that the total magnetic flux for a Gaussian surface is zero, which means that magnetic monopole doesn't exist in the space. Paradise law comments that if magnetic field Change with the time, this induces the creation of the electric field. And finally, the complete Ampere law indicates that when electric field is changing with the time, or there are changes in motions, that means of electric current, they activate a magnetic field. Within the free space, a necessary condition for electric field and magnetic field to fulfill Maxwell equation is that each of their components satisfies the wave equation. This transforming into two precise vector expressions, and where C is the state of propagation given in the free space the value of 300,000 km per second. Perturbation created due to the electromagnetic radiation generated by electromagnetic field source is propagating as we have seen in the form of two mutually coupled water waves, called electric field wave and magnetic field wave. These waves are related, and with Maxwell calculated the perturbation speed, discovered that had the same velocity as the light. It has discovered that the light had the same behavior that a wave in the electromagnetic field. Now, once we have obtained the value of the speed of the wave, we can also see the relationship between its frequency and its wavelength. In the range of frequencies of this electromagnetic radiation, we can obtain the so-called electromagnetic spectrum, where each band has different characteristics and applications. As we have seen in other video lectures, we are especially interested in the terahertz band. Well, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and see you in future video lectures. Bye!